Hello everyone, Ringwood71 here, back with the actual episode 7 of the Monchi Method. Uh, I was incorrect last time as I was too excited for the Manchester City game. Um, you can see me now, I've added a little webcam. Uh, I've got my me, me Marseille merch on, I've got a nice Schalke 2005 away shirt hanging in the background there to, uh, to spice it up a bit for you because it's just a grey and white background and it'll look a little bit boring. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about today is something I've not seen an awful lot of, uh, sort of, not advertised anywhere, but just spoken about anywhere within the FM community, uh, and it is data analysis in terms of your scouting. Um, if we just click on your staff screen here, uh, there's a few roles been added to the game over the years. Uh, performance analysts and recruitment analysts are up there, as well as low managers and technical uh, directors. Um, we just click on, let's say, Bruno Henrique here. Um, it's quite hard to find the best of the best, but um, this guy's got a very good um, personality. He's got 15 and 15, which if that was a scout, lovely. Um, what you want to do is you want to see his analyst reports and what he will be doing. Um, he will be going around basically with one of the scouts this is how I see it. I don't know. I don't think anybody actually knows how it works. But he'll be going around with the scouts and analysing certain players from certain competitions or certain teams. Uh, and then obviously giving you a, a, a report back as a scout would. You can see the screen here. You can find it that way. Or if you click on the scouting tab here, much like you would do if you just go into player search. Um, click on your scouting tab and then you go into players and drop it down to analysed. Um, you can filter and edit the screen as much as you want in the exact same way that you would do with a, um, with a, um, a player search screen or a scout or a squad screen or whatever. Uh, and you can then um, you can then go and have a little look at, at the players that it finds. You can filter it by recommendation. You can do the little pinwheel for it to be um, if they're interested in the transfer or not. You can see the notable pro versus the notable cons, the number of cons versus number of pros. Add the age into there like I've done, um, etc., etc., and you can go through it. You can you can even add statistics to it if you wanted to go really deep into it. Look, stats chalkboard. You can add whatever to it. It's exactly the same. Um, this was highlighted. It was a video that I had planned anyway. Um, I was actually up late last night, uh, and I was looking into things, and I was like, oh, okay, let you know, this is sort of something I do. I've never really seen anyone else talk about it. Um. And as it turns out, a guy on Twitter called the FM Cataneccio uh, tweeted about it yesterday, um, sort of highlighting exactly how you do this. Uh, and I dropped him a little message and was like, mate, you've literally read my mind there. I was I was in the process of doing it. Uh, and he said, go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, you can see um, where the little binoculars are. That's your knowledge level. Um, the players that uh, it's a little bit blacked out, you can see there, there's, well, obviously it's 80%. If it's not 100%, more than likely your scout hasn't gone to look at him. Um, so, Tony Martinez, former West Ham man, um, you can see he was 80% knowledge. Um, if I click on reports and click on scout reports, has he had one? No. So, there you go. So, that's what you do. If, if he's like that, you then get your scout report to look at him. Um, so, I'll get Pablo, my director of football, my version of Monchi, to go and have a little look at him uh, and just see what see what he comes back and see what he says. Um it's a very handy screen. It It's basically the comparison screen dumbed down. So with the comparison screen, if I was to compare him with uh, Mo Durame, let's just click uh, Mohamed Durame. Where are you, son? If I was to click onto that and then click onto uh, position and role statistics, it's basically this, but dumbed down into speech, text, <laughs> words, rather than, um, rather than just figures so it you know it, it's kind of black and white uh what i love about it is it shows you some like unexpected stuff too so if tony had gone and made like 57 tackles it'd say unexpected pro 57 tackles but you can see uh he has scored 12 goals in the gpl pro league this season uh it then compares it with your highest rating uh because he's a striker modorami scored eight goals it's comparing it to modorami um, average rating 7.56, which is the second in the in, in the Jupiler Pro League, compares it to Mohamed Darame, as it does on the negative side there too. Um, 
it's just a great little tool. It's a great little feature. People don't really pay much attention to it. It even shows you like the current form. Uh, he scored 24 goals overall this season uh, in 30 matches. He's got three goals in his last five games. His shot on target uh, percentage is 56%. So it shows you one of those things that we look for anyway when we're doing the um, when we're doing the tables. It's showing how many off target he's had. It's showing you the offset of everything. He's covered 5.1 miles per 90 minutes this season, which is crazy. Um, it it's just a very 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 handy. Um, oh, he's been capped by Spain on this now. He's a proper journeyman player, Tony Martinez. He was like really highly regarded at West Ham at one point, but it it you know it's it's not worked <laughs> basically. Um, but what you'd do on this stage then? Um, is he an undervalued player? No. If anything, I think he's overvalued. He's twenty six years of age, um, so he's basically in his prime because he's had such a good season. Um, in the pro league, he his value skyrocketed basically. Uh, it looks like he's been there for two seasons and he's done very well in, in both of those seasons. So it's skyrocketed, but obviously you, you can then go, uh, assign your scout, our version of Monchi, give us a little full knowledge, mate. And and that's essentially it. It's just an additional scouting method, which I don't see many people using. Um, if you are like myself and you've got a bit of a, um, sort of a bit of a, like a philosophy of how you want to do it, um, you can filter by age and whatnot. Um, one guy who my scouts hadn't looked at when I was doing this last night was this guy called Zeno Van Housen, playing for Standard Liège, again in the Pro League, 24 years of age. Um, Attribute-wise, he's brilliant for a ball-playing defender. He's basically 15s on everything. Um, apart from pace, he's not that quick. But everything else, he's 15 and above. Um, we click on his... Um, you can see on his star report there because the scouts, they think he'd be the third best. Um Again, it's going to compare it to your best. So, possession won. 469 times he's won possession compared to Noyahem Perez's 163 times. So, that to me says he's a bit more aggressive. He's a bit more... His tackling's a bit better. Um, which, if we click on his scout report, does it sort of su suggest that too? Uh, he's resolute. He's good in the air. Good, good, good passing over this. He's really adaptable in just a bit matches, blah, blah, So, basically... What my scouts is saying, which was David Freo on this occasion, um, go out and get him, mate. Um, that's basically what it's saying to me there. Uh, you can see he didn't make an appearance for Inter Milan and then went back to Standard Liège and he's just gone from strength to strength. Um, that's somebody who my scouts didn't look at. So one of my analysts has found him and then I've obviously had the scouting on top of it too. Um, he's somebody that wouldn't have been picked up uh, unless I was like really drilling down and looking specifically at that league, uh, you can see he's on the scout on the shortlist as well as a few others. Uh, and then, as I said, you can always go ahead and, and filter by age. So if you wanted like a really bright young up and coming player, uh, let's do between 15 and 18 because 17 is a bit silly. And let's do the recommendation. Uh, you can see Sergi Indiata, who is a regen playing for Saint Atien reserves. Um, Attribute wise, he's he's very good. He's a very good striker, really good personality too. Um, we have got a scout report on him as well because we do have somebody looking for them, like the under 18s in France. Uh, again, shows you comparatively what he's been doing, and then you can click and just see his little scout report there. You know, make your mind up on it, and then actions. What do you want to do? We want to discard him. We want to acknowledge it. We don't need any more scouting on him, or you know, we can offer trial, etc., etc. And it's just something like that people overlook in the game and I've seen it a few times um, here's one guy who we were you know, waiting to show for the next episode um, but we found him using this method uh, we've put a bid in for him it's Angelo Foriani who's played a Ferrani Fenari, Fenari, let's say Fenari it's Angelo, he's playing for Kremen SA in the Serie B um, analyst, analyst wise he's a 52 out of 100 we click on him, it's going to show us his pros and his cons. Um, his negatives, he's only got three assists, whereas Monchu has eight. His average rating isn't as good as Monchu. Uh, he makes more blocks than Monchu, so I don't know why that's a negative. I don't know if that's a bug, but hey-ho. Um, fouls, he's higher than Monchu. Tackles won is less than Monchu's. Interceptions made is less, and his possession lost is less. Again, it's less. It was 201st. You'd think that would be a positive, because he's not losing it that much. Um, 
I don't know whether it's bugged. I don't know. Uh, but anywho, uh, possession won then. 442 times he's won possession compared to Montu's 116. His pass completion slightly higher. Clear cut chances. It's they're saying is good. It's it's eight compared to Montu's 24. I think it might be good because Montu's a set piece taker, and I don't think uh, Angelo is. Uh, key passes wise is still very good. Uh, 53 career appearances for an 18 year old is, is fairly decent too, and it shows you his distance covered. Um, scout report wise, again most of the negatives and the cons are going to be what they always are. Peripheral figure in the the social group. Um, he needs to improve his crossing and his marking, but we could tell that anyway by the analyst reports saying about his tackling. Um, but personality-wise, he's very good uh, and whatnot, and his media handling is a bit mm, a bit iffy. But then, I've been waiting to show you it. You look at his attributes. Are you ready for this? 18, year of, 18 years of age, this kid. 18 years of age. He is playing, I think, exclusively as a DLP for um, Cremonese. Um, I would probably play him as an AP, purely for the dribbling and the flair, or maybe a Metzala. Um, click on his profile so we can see it, and we can, you know, fiddle around with this. As an AP, gets his dribbling involved, gets his flair, and his anticipation involved a little bit more. Uh, also, that really good agility that he's got. Um... What a player. What a player this kid is. I had not scouted him. I didn't, we didn't know anything about him. Um, we've not got any scouts set looking at the Serie B. Um, so scouting, assignments. Uh, you're going to look at it. It's a bit of a mess. There's a few people looking at the same place. But basically, I want the world knowledge to be more. So I've had to double down. Uh, and people are looking for like first team players and others aren't. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's mental. Um, like, look, no one in Italy, not a soul in Italy, um, and he's been picked up. And the best thing about it is that he's going on a free transfer. Um, we've put a bid in for him. Um, he wants to be an important player, but we've spoken in, in other videos, and we said it in last uh, last night's video about Monchu. He's basically the only creative player that we've got, and if we're playing him as like a DLP people essentially get onto him and they man mark him out the game and he's not quick enough, he's not nimble enough, he, he's not necessarily not clever enough, but he's not got enough about him to um to get out of situations that a more attack minded player would do. Um so we could potentially be getting an Italian just megastar, basically. Um so if we were to change Monchu up to an AP, um, you can see dribbling wise and first touch, no, and not as good. His passing's actually not even as good, and his technique isn't either. Vision isn't as good. His teamwork's not as good. Off the ball, you know, not as good attribute wise as Angelo Finari. Um, so we've taken the gamble and we've gone for this guy, despite his media handling not being the best. Um, you know, we, we've dropped a little contract offer him for him. His contract expires in one month. This is only like three weeks left of the season. Um, it's just, I, I can't stress enough. It's a method that I used to use uh, with Brentford a lot. Um, I, as you know, people know, I use Brentford as basically a core save most years. Uh, I love how they approach football and whatnot. And that's essentially what I've gone for with this method. Um, please just double down on your analysts because I never would have found this guy and he would have went to one of the big guns probably. Look, um, who's he wanted by? Roma, Napoli. You know, he probably would have went to one of those guys and then this is going to be somebody who's worth millions and millions and millions of pounds a year down the line because he's just a sensational player and I wouldn't have found him. Um I can't stress it enough. I can't stress it enough. You can also, as well, if you click on your club vision, you can request to up your analyst facilities if they're not up to scratch. So if we click on our club vision, I'm not sure what our facilities even are. Um, make a request. Uh, maybe our data analyst facilities are fantastic. You can find out on your club info and you can find out on your facilities and data analyst facilities. Oh, have they actually taken that off? Hmm. It used to be your corporate facilities, your training facilities. 
your youth facilities and your data analyst facilities. Maybe they've taken that off now as like a thing that was definitely on last year. Um, however, more over to the point, um, one of our analysts, whoever he may be, because it doesn't tell you, uh, unless you went in individually, has basically found us an absolute gem of a player. Do you know what? I'm just going to change the contract off for now. I'm just going to offer him more money because would you want him playing for your team? Because I want him playing for my team. Give him 30 grand a week. <laughs> I'm going to give you 54 grand a week. I've basically done that just so he signs for us and nobody else. Um, but yeah, lads, it's I can't stress enough how much of a a godsend something like this is. Uh, I mean, even like some of these guys, they've got a lot of cons. Um, but I mean, some of the cons or most of the cons tend to be, oh, he won't fit in the 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 t he won't fit in the dressing room. Oh, his agent might have a high fee. It's just nonsense like that. I mean, Martin Sachi, I've looked at him before. We scouted him before. Look at those attributes for an eighteen-year-old Argentinian striker. It's the dream, isn't it? That's what you want. These are the type of people that you drill down for and you look for for ages and you're looking for all the stats and whatnot. Trust in your analyst and your analysts will find you good good young players for cheap. Even this Jao Pereira guy, a winger for Porto, look at him for like an out-and-out -out winger. Fantastic. Um, he can finish as well. He can probably play up front. He's got good composure too. Um, again... 48, so traffic light system-wise, they're not they're saying, you know, you've got, oh, you've got a few negatives. But we've seen the negatives might be slightly bugged. Um, career appearances is 12 as a negative. Well, if you're good enough, you're old enough. Um, you know, you play him more. If Porto aren't playing them, that's stuff to Porto. Um, possession one, it doesn't matter because he's a winger. Um, key passes is a bit mm, iffy. Uh, possession lost, but he's more, you know, he's a winger, so he's up and down. He will lose possession more, especially if he's popping crosses in. Um I just... <laughs> have we got a scout report on this guy? Yeah, David Frios. So, what were the cons for him? Um, again, peripheral figure. Aerial presence, it doesn't matter. He's a winger. He's one-footed. Again, he's a right-footed winger. Um, I'll probably play him as a, an inside forward on the left, to be completely honest with you. They're saying he's a striker or an AM. Um, he might encounter problems moving over. Again, you can always offset that by bringing another Portuguese guy in, and he doesn't have great jump and reach. But everything else, he can play in a couple of positions, fairly determined, possesses great pace, and he's very agile. And you were looking at his attributes again. He is a sensational young player on this game. Um, I mean, I know on this side, as an inside forward, because he's got such good finishing, such good technique, and he's quick and he's agile, if you played him as that, uh, you added the... Play a trait of likes to care the ball. Guarantee he's 15, 20 goals a season when he starts reaching his prime. Um, are they? I don't even know how much they're gonna want for him. I might even go for him. It's it's this type of like off the cuff, on the fly scouting that I like doing, uh, especially when it comes to the on 27 million. Uh, when it comes to recording videos, um, this is the type of stuff I like doing, just sort of on the fly, uh, especially. <sighs> You know, it, after league appearances, 3 0. I mean, £15 million pound for a player like that is ridiculous in essence. However, he is. Again, even these guys are decent. These guys that are. That's, it, that's an 18 year old centre half. He looks better than half of my centre halves. So what are his cons? I mean, that's not even that much of a con. He's 18, he's going to grow. Madness. It's basically an unspoken scouting method. It really is. That's the way I see it. Um, what about this guy? Okay, maybe not as good attribute wise. Matthew Wade. He's great. So especially if you're like a lower league team, even if you wouldn't be able to get these guys like transfer wise, you could probably loan a few of these people in. Look at him. Playing for Deportivo. Uh Santiago Velasco. Fantastic again. 
Uh, fun Silver Mullen. Wonder Kid. Wonder Kid right there that my scout, who I've got scouts in Belgium, has not picked up yet. Possession loss is less than Monchu. But it's a pro, it's a con. I don't know. I don't know with this game sometimes. I think it's definitely a, a feature that is bugged. They've maybe not looked at it. This guy's played Champions League football. He's, he's 18 years of age. Wild. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to play ahead. Um, you know, I need to get to the the next part of, of, of the Munchy method, um, which would be the end of season and sort of analysing where we need to improve and whatnot. Um, I had identified the centre of the park. We need uh, sort of a, a, a something to mix it up with Monchu. Um, maybe not performing all the time when we find one. Um, using this method, which is why I wanted to highlight it to you. Is, um, what a player. Oh, man. Anyway, um, I'm Matt. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm hoping... The face camera hasn't distracted people too much from the video. I don't tend to like doing them. I just like talking about the game while I'm playing. Um, it's not about me. It's about the game. Um, if this is a method that you've not used, then please, please go ahead and do it and let me know how you get on. Uh, and, you know, thank you for the support. Thank you for clicking on the video in the first place. Uh, and as always, please take care.